Hey, what up, guys? Doing another What's Next. This is on, um, sorry, former IBF super middleweight champion Caleb Truax of the United States. Um, Truax is my number eight super middleweight in the world right now at 168 pounds. Um, he's currently the, the IBF, his highest ranking is, ranking is number three in the IBF. Um, he was being considered for a WBC title shot against David Benavidez, but, excuse me, Benavides decided to go with uh, Romer Angulo instead. So right now, um, up in the air on what Caleb Truax is doing next. He's a PBC guy. So let's take a look. Let's run through the top 10 and see what is possible for him. So now the big question, what's next for Caleb Truax? Um, start with number one in at 168, and that is Canelo Alvarez. Um, he's not looking at a guy like Truax. Truax is late 30s, been beat before, um, you know, not, it doesn't hold a world title, so not an appealing fight for Canelo. Plus, Canelo's fighting Billy Joe next, so um, and then Triple G after that, so not happening. Um, number two, undefeated WBA super champion Callum Smith. Um, Callum Smith's always looking for opponents. I think he would definitely fight Truax if he couldn't get any of the other big names to fight, but Matrim would have to work it out with the PBC. I'm not sure. I don't think the PBC would would work this out when they have other options that Truax could do. They'd probably want to keep it in-house So um, against other PBC guys. But because it's a title fight, maybe it could happen, but I'm going to lean towards a no. Um, number three is former champion Daniel Jacobs, former two-time middleweight champ Daniel Jacobs. Um, Jacobs is looking at other things, Gabe Rosado um, or uh, John Ryder, um, before he moves on to a title fight. This is Matchroom working with the PBC, and I just don't think they're going to make it work, uh, that they would make something like this work. Plus, uh, this would actually be a rematch. I forgot Jacobs and Truax fought years ago, and I believe Jacobs stopped them um, in the 12th round. So, yeah, um, they, yeah, there's no, no sense for a rematch. Number four is um, David Benavidez, the undefeated WBC champion. Now, he is a PBC guy, and this fight almost happened, but... Um, Benavidez is going forward with an optional defense against Romer and Gulo next. And then after that, he has a mandatory defense against Abney Yildirim, dude. So I don't think Truax is in the mix right now. Um, number five is undefeated WBO champion Billy Joe Saunders. Another one not going to happen. Billy Joe's lined up to face Canelo in his next fight. Um, even if that didn't happen, I think Billy Joe would probably go forward with a mandatory uh, because Matchroom would have to work it out with PBC, and I just don't think uh, they will. Um, number six, I mean, I wouldn't completely rule it out, though. Um, number six is undefeated IBF champion Caleb Plant. Now, this might be the best option for Truax. I think this fight is very possible because the original plan was Plant wanted to face David Benavidez for the, uh, in a unification bout. Now that Benavidez is making an optional defense and then has a mandatory against Abney Yildirim do, and Caleb Plant doesn't have anything going on next, he's probably just going to stay busy. Um, he's got other options in the PBC. Probably the only other better option, though, is Anthony Durrell. Um, he's got Lionel Thompson that's also there, but Lionel Thompson, not a bit, as big a name, and is a risk. So, you know, I think Caleb Truax, and he's also his number one, his highest rated contender. The top two spots in the IBF right now are not taken by anybody. They're, they're open. So Truax sitting there at number three is the highest available contender right now. So I think um, there's, a, um, there's a chance that, that these two guys could, um, you know, they, they could fight uh, for the IBF title next. You know, I think it's very possible. Um, Truax was trying to get himself lined up for the title shot last year before he got hurt prior to the Peter uh, Kid Chocolate Quillen rematch. So, yeah, I mean, there's, it, it's just, I really think this one's possible. Number seven is former two-time champion Anthony Durrell, which will be a rematch from a fight uh, years ago when Durrell stopped Truax in the very first round. Um, I'm not seeing it, but it could happen because Durrell, I think he's going to make one last push for a world title. Um, and, you know, they're both PBC guys. I, I think Durrell is probably looking at Truax like, I don't need to fight him again because I already beat him a few years ago in the first round. But that might be his best option is to go after a rematch because he's kind of got a name. He's a former champ. Truax did make his name and captured his world title after 
a couple of years after being knocked out by Darrell. So he's made a better name for himself since to where a rematch, you know, he could do better. Uh, Truex could do better and make a rematch more believable. Um, personally, I think it's a better option rematching Truex for Darrell than fighting some low-level nobody, but that's what Darrell usually fights, so that's why I'm leaning towards a no, but considering they're both with the PBC and they might be looking for something to do next, I think it is possible. Um, number, well, he was number uh, seven. Number eight is Truex. Number nine is uh, Lionel Thompson. Now, I think this fight's possible, too. Thompson, uh, you know, moved up the rankings when he upset Jose Ustadegui, the former IBF champion, in December of last year. So now there's a chance that uh, Thompson could fight him, uh, uh, you know, could face um, uh, Truax now because they're both at the PBC. So it could be, it, th th this could be the final eliminator in IBF to determine the number one contender. So just got to wait and see what happens, but I do think this is a possibility. And then finally at number 10 is former world title challenger, John Ryder. I'm not seeing this. Ryder's with Matchroom. Ryder is looking at a possible rematch with Callum Smith next or a showdown with Danny Jacobs. So he's got other bigger options, and I think uh, uh, Eddie Hearn with Matchroom is probably going to match him up like that. Now, what do I think Caleb Truax is going to do next? Honestly, I'm going to go out on a limb and say I think he's going to get the title shot against Caleb Flynn. I really do. I think he's a, he's a good, decent name to get a shot, a battle of the two Calebs. Um, and uh, I think that's going to be probably what he does next. If not, I can see him fighting Lionel Thompson, uh, you know, in a, some kind of an eliminator. And if not that, he's just going to stay busy. So we'll see what he does. All right, guys, that's the what's next on former super middleweight champion Caleb Truax. I hope you enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.